What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And this room unboxing is setting up the Spirit Halloween, I want to say 2023 Rick Ratman animatronic. Now, this guy retails for $199.99, and he is an online only animatronic, which is, I guess, funny. I don't really know. Uh, funny Ratman is no in store. It all started with a subway rat and a leftover slice of pizza. Rick never understood what made passengers run away in terror when a rat crossed the pa their path. He works a late shift at a 24-hour pizza joint and always goes out of his way to feed the little critters leftover scraps. After dozing off on a midnight train, Rick felt a sharp pain radiating from his head down his chest like chest, like he had been shoved through a sausage grinder and then sliced against a cheese grater. His rat friends had decided that his pepperoni and an anchovy body odor was too good to pass up. Once they started gnawing at his skin, they found the taste of his warm blood and organs even more enticing. Now his commute comes with a craving for dumpster food and a strong desire to linger by sewer grates. Uh, I purchased an this animatronic online on like November the 2nd or something, I don't really remember. But I purchased it online. I guess I could have waited until next year to see if he went on sale. But, I don't know, I was ordering things online anyway, and I was just like, I want funny rat, dude. So, yeah, I have plans, that's why you'll see next year. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe it's a little early to be planning for October of 2025 when it's, you know, November of 2024. But I guess that's besides the point. Anyway, um, yeah, this guy is, I believe, Crazy Create. I mean, everything points to him being Crazy Create or techie, but... This is not a techie prop, I can tell you that for free. Anyway, there's the bag of clothes. There was something I was gonna say. Oh yeah, he has a really tiny box, which is good and bad. Good for storage, bad for getting it back in the box. Uh, here's a fun little tip that I, I never realized until I was packing away my spirit's ringmaster. Uh, leaving those cardboard inserts is actually really helpful for putting it back in the box. And I never really thought about that. But, like, it's so obvious now that you think about it because it's easier to lay it all down when you can, you know, have more of the surface area to work with rather than just the little top of the box. But anyway, oh, uh, yeah, here is his head. He is, you know, rightfully so online only, I will say that much. <laughs> Although he's very awesome. I absolutely love the detailing on this guy. And really, I have no major complaints. Although there will be some weird setup things when we get there. Um... Yeah, there was something else, probably. I don't really know. Here I am just still getting everything out of the box, because, yeah, it's stuck. And then there's the one hand, which I guess, yeah, is fun. I guess I'll start off, do I think this prop is worth 200 Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I would reasonably say, like, 180 would be better, but, you know, I don't really think that um, 200 is bad by any means, and I think he's built fairly well. For all things considered. But yeah, here is this thing. I don't really know why it's there. It okay, so it I think I don't know. The the, the instructions don't help you very much. And because it's crazy create, you just you'd never know what you're doing. Uh but I'll explain that a little bit more when we get there. Anyway, foam donut moment. And there's another peculiar piece. But overall, honestly, the setup wasn't that bad. Again, there were a couple parts that I got confused on because the instructions weren't very clear. And there's, like, Velcro everywhere. Like, there's a Velcro on his, like, crotch, and I, I really don't know what it goes to. You'll see later, I it just kind of is there. I ended up realizing... No, I guess it wasn't on the pants, actually, that I changed it. Because it was like, okay, the opening in the pants is on the back. Yeah, I got that. But then the Velcro on the shirt that would match up to... That is on the back side. So I just, I don't get it. Anyway, I'll explain that more later. Here I am putting poles on. I have the base backwards right now. Spring pins should always probably face backwards. Usually it is, at least. And this guy is no different. And I ended up realizing that because of the shoes. Those little, like, metal bars that stick out. I don't know why they're like that. But they they would hold the shoes in place. And, yeah, I ended up realizing, like, wait a minute. That should be the other way. And so it was. He is marked as six feet tall. That is honestly wrong. <laughs> He's taller than me. Him himself might be six. 
I think that's reasonable. With the rat included, he's probably six foot six, I'd say. I think that's reasonable to estimate, yeah. But you see, I, I do just put on the shoes anyway the right way. Uh, yeah, he has Velcro, something I, I forgot or didn't notice until after I had finished the, I guess, not video, but once I finished setting him up, he has Velcro's, Velcro on the backs, like, on the, his kind of heel, the back of his heel, which connects to the pant legs, which is actually a really nice touch. I wish more props did that, because, no, oh, sorry, I had, um, Frankenstein, and in the wind, you could literally see the pant leg pushed all the way forward, and it looked like his shoe or his foot was disconnected. It was great. But, yeah. Uh, here I am trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing, because it doesn't really, again, it doesn't tell you much. Because the poles aren't labeled. And it's like, here, put this pole here. And I'm like, okay, so which one is that? So I had to check to make sure. Although, I think once you kind of realize what each of the pieces are for, it's a little bit easier to understand. Because it, it does mention the knee specifically being on the one side. So that's not a huge deal. But it was kind of the question of, okay, there's one of them, or one of the pronged ones with the where the hip loop should go in, and if you don't know that's for the hip loop, it kind of gets a little bit complicated, but I figured it out regardless. Here are the pants. Uh, again, there's like a little slit, Velcro slit, which is usually on the backs of their shirts, but for him, because, you know, he has a little bit of a hold through his chest, it is uh, in his butt area, so yeah, you have to make sure that's facing the back and also i guess another tip for him is all of the tags on the shirts and stuff that say spirit or whatever are also on the back which i guess yeah again makes sense and i've you notice i tripped on something there about 12 times in this video not really 12 but more than more than once i'd say at least twice i trip on the instructions or more so kick them i don't really like trip and die but you know i, I do hit them with my foot and send them flying which is, I don't know how I managed to do that. I never do that. I literally don't think I've ever done that for anything until this guy. Anyway, panning up a little bit, it's control box time. I hate this one in particular because, not to say it should be connected on both sides per se, but when you put it on, it just, it feels like it leans so much. And the only thing that actually holds it up is the hip loop, which you'll see in a second what that actually does. Anyway, there's the IR sensor, which you, for some reason, put on last. It's really annoying, I don't know. But yeah, here's the other side anyway. And you'll notice the control box is, like, at an angle. Which is, again, it's annoying. It's not a huge deal, I guess, but I don't know. I don't like it. And then when you put the hip loop in, it ends up writing itself. But I actually had to check the instructions because I was, because I was like, surely that doesn't just chill there like that. And it, in fact, does. Crazy Crit is the stupidest way of mounting the control boxes. It's either those stupid little, like, hooks, or they're Velcroed on the base or something, or this. Uh, do I have any Crazy Crit prop that makes sense? I guess Nightcrawler. No, Nightcrawler you have to screw in his, I'm pretty sure. So never mind. But anyway. Moving on from that. There you see, um, something or other, I don't really know. And next step is, I want to say the mechanism. This is, this gave, hit me with the old techie issue to where I can only get one side in. I ended up getting the other side in by just slapping it a bunch and then twisting the, the lower pole. But <laughs> it's annoying. I love fun getting it out, that's for sure. But you see me just slap the frick out of it. And that still doesn't do it, so I ended up bringing in a screwdriver and slapping it some more because I didn't want to slap it with my bare hands because, you know, I was scared I was going to hit some sharp metal edge and, like, have it come through the back of my hand, you know? That would have hurt. But anyway, uh, yeah. There you see rat, lower rat. Uh, on, I don't know if it's a general problem or if it's just mine or the way that I set mine up, but the rat is, like, barely noticeable because he's all the way in the back. If you watch the short, I actually tried to show it, and it just, you couldn't see it because it was shadowed, because it's all the way in the back, but it is what it is. Uh, at this point, I feel like he's actually pretty tall, and I'm like, hmm, that six feet feels wrong, but 
Uh, you'll see the incredible pole that goes in next, which is this little guy. Uh, can't see the A for some reason. It's white on cream, or I guess like an off-white. And it's really annoying to see. But the only thing you need to know is that the A on the short little black pole is on the bottom and back. And that little bar that sticks out is on the front, which I'm, again, assuming... It holds up that, like, felt from his shoulder frame. You'll see that in a second. But I, I don't know what this pole is. It's kind of goofy. When I pulled it out of the box, I actually was like, is this a broken piece? Because I had never seen a pole so short before. It literally just connects the mechanism and the shoulder frame. But, like, at that point, just put it on the shoulder frame, you know? It, it doesn't make any sense. It's so unnecessary. But anyway, you can barely even see that it's there because of the background lights I forgot to turn on. Uh, yeah, you like my collection? There's Hauntress. By the way, Hauntress is broken. I don't know what happened. Uh, I figured I'd point that out, though. She just stopped working randomly. Anyway, you connect mechanism wire. This thing is stupid because they wrapped it around the mechanism, which I guess is understandable so it doesn't get caught on anything. But it, it was annoying to get out, to say the least. So, yeah. Anyway, I just tried to leave the IR sensor chilling on the control box because I didn't know where it went as of right now because I didn't really check the clothes for where the IR sensor should belong. Not that that's particularly important. Anyway, shoulder frame is next. That little felt goes on the front. And it's just a spring pin. These are the general, like, crazy great shoulder frames and stuff with the same plastic and all that jazz. However, they're spring pinned this time instead of screwed, which is nice. I do like that. However, they still have the two holes, which I don't quite get. And I almost actually on the shoulder frame pushed it down a, 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 another hole just for the hell of it. But I ended up not. But I, I don't know. I found that a little weird. The fact that I guess whatever, they manufacture the parts, so might as well not change them, even if they are perhaps changing the way they build a little bit. Anyway, this thing's next. This part is weird. You essentially... And take these little plastic clips and they go on the side poles and this little blister form i guess i'll call it kind of just chills there it looks pretty cool too i like it it's definitely uh gory i wish it was a little bit i don't know if i want to say shinier because i guess it is shiny but i don't know like more glossy i guess that's a better way to describe it glossy rather than shiny Moving on, it is his arm. You're supposed to uh, zip tie this in typical crazy career fashion, but I didn't, and it didn't fall out. So n again, not gonna say anything. But I was like, he'll be back in the box probably within two days. So who cares? Which I still have to set up my max draw from fifty percent, but I know he's broken anyway. So who cares? I guess I should email Zombie Tech, but I also want to see if I can just fix it because I feel like it's probably an easy fix. Anyway, ignoring that. The other arm is... It's so difficult, it's actually insane. All the craziness you have to go through. In case you couldn't tell I was being sarcastic, you take a half of a pole noodle and Velcro it to the inside of the plastic shoulder frame. It doesn't get easier than that, frankly. Uh, but overall, I guess this is a good point to say. Do I recommend this prop? Absolutely. I know we're not at the end yet, but... Yeah, he's great. I love him. He's the right amount of gory. I guess he's kind of hard to fit... Well, I mean, you could just put him in a graveyard, realistically, but I'm actually giving him his own theme. Kind of. He'll be in a rat theme. I don't know if it'll mainly be rats yet. I guess I'll have to see come next year. But, you know, that's kind of where I'm going. I'm just going to get a bunch of cheap rats, probably, and throw them everywhere. But, yeah, next up is Pants. He has, I just hate... He has so much Velcro everywhere. I don't understand. The pants actually have, like, four different spots where you Velcro it around the hip loop, which I don't mind that. It's nice, but it is kind of annoying to do. And then there you see that little black Velcro on the middle front of his pants and his crotch. I, I don't know what that's to. I could never figure it out. I was thinking, like, maybe it had something to do with the red kind of, I guess, gut plate, I think is what they call it. But, or gut form, I want to say. It was something like that. Uh, but it, it doesn't, and it, it doesn't connect to the shirt, because there's nothing on the inside on the front of the shirt, there's something on the inside on the back of the shirt, I don't know, anyway, here is his undershirt, which, he has fairly easy clothes to put on, because he only has one arm, you just kind of slide it over the, the hand, and then, you know, you can pretty much just bend the, 
uh, pool noodle into the other one, and it's pretty easy. But yeah, this undershirt is nothing crazy. I guess it, guess it is kind of just adjusting it to make sure that, you know, you can see through the hole properly and that you're not seeing inside of his body? Something. Well, you are... I don't know how... How does that work? Also, where did his bones go? The rats can't eat... Didn't eat the bone, surely. But anyway, I, I don't want to think about it any further. I'm going to move on from that. After this is his overshirt, and then I think he's done. I love the detailing on this guy's face on his shirt. He is definitely the goriest spear prop I own, I would say, unless there's somebody I'm missing. I don't think so. I'd say actually out of any non-professional level prop, he's the goriest by far. It's not even close. But yeah, he's great. I'm very glad I got him. I, I do wish he went on sale, because, you know, I would love to get him for cheaper. But I'm obviously, I'm not going to complain, because whatever. And, uh, yeah, here is the overshirt. And, uh, yeah, that being said, maybe? No, I'm going to wait a little bit, because actually I have a lot of time. But, yeah, 10 out of 10 would buy again. Although not really. Also, one thing I forgot to mention. He smells weird. <laughs> I thought that's, like, a, a strange comment. But... You know, a lot of props, you have the, the, like, latex smell or the whatever. He smelled like that, but slightly off for some reason. It was really weird. I don't exactly know what that was from or why, but I tried to not ask any further questions and just continue to set him up and pretend like I didn't smell anything a little strange. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. It might be something to do with his clothes. I feel like the pants, it was the pants or something that I also noticed it on. But I'm not entirely sure. I also had troubles here for some reason. And I forgot to Velcro the uh, sleeve onto his one hand. Uh, I guess he only kind of has one. I, he might need a hand there. I huh? get it. Uh, anyway, that is a terrible joke. But I still can't end because it's not time yet. What? Okay, no, 18, eh, like a minute before, I think is fair. How long, wait, what else is there then? There's nothing else, I don't know what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I guess I just adjust the clothes for four years straight. Oh, right, the IR sensor, I didn't cut that out, oops. Uh, yeah, I had to, like, feed it through. It was annoying, Th that's all you need to know, it was annoying. Anyway, that is where I'm going to end the video, I, I suppose. Um, thank you guys for watching, did enjoy this video again. As mentioned, I definitely recommend this animatronic. He's very awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope Spirit releases some sort of rat prop next year. Because that would be cool. I know Morris is the mangy rat, and I'm actually debating getting him. Uh, because I have a little bit of credit from uh, Reaper's Ride's missing arm that Oriental gave me. But anyway, with that being said, have a fantastic rest of your day. Or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.